Hi, welcome to Leo's Submarine, where we take a deep dive into the human experience. Today we have a very special guest. We have a videographer, photographer, co-owner of Meraki Fit, very, very special guest, my cousin, Nelson Martinez. <laughs> What's up, bro? How you doing? How we doing? How <laughs> we good. feeling? I'm feeling great. The feeling energies great. are high. You know, how are you doing? <sighs> Wonderful. I'm excited to be here, actually. <laughs> um, let's get right into it, right? Like, we're talking photography and videography, yes, right? Yes. So, let's see. Where did you begin with photography? Okay. I began at about like 12-ish, when I was like about 12. Um this is when I was like allowed to have a phone. <laughs> when I, like, you said they just gave you permission, <laughs> just right now. <laughs> like, this is like, um, I think the first time was like going to like Petco, right? And I, mm. I just got my new phones, iPhone. And I was like, oh shit, let, let me take some pictures real quick of like the, there was a turtle, tarantula, snakes, stuff like that. It's all sorts of animals, yeah. love it. <laughs> so I was just taking pictures of them. And I remember this one specific picture I took of the turtle. I was like, damn. <laughs> this is nice as hell so i decided to keep going with it because i i feel like at that moment i was like i kind of like this let me let me continue with it um did you get all the angles for the turtle like making sure that it is yeah bro okay? I, I did the like um there's like some rocks so like <laughs> <laughs> i can only imagine what that turtle's feeling when they have just an iphone right there True. the turtle's just like let me get my angles right you know <laughs> But there's like a rock in front of it, um, so I made the rock like unfocused and then all focused on the turtle. So it looked like really nice, like 3D yeah. type of thing. Um, so from that point, I just started, you know, shooting like in my backyard, like the sunset, sunrise type of thing, <clears throat> um, or like my bike, or just random things, you know. Yeah. Uh, just with the iPhone, and I would post them on my Instagram which is Nelly underscore shoots. If you want to go follow that right now, dude, please follow, <laughs> follow Nelly underscore shoots. Um, really you've got some that. really Thank amazing you. things um, that. that we would love to show, especially towards the end. Definitely. Definitely. Appreciate that. Um, so I started posting them on there and, um, I would get like, like three likes, you know, oh, yeah. this is yeah, like 2013. I wasn't really taking it serious. <clears throat> and then I would, get more serious more into like my like high school days i feel like right uh just going into high school like freshman of course i got my first like actual camera which was the canon t5 the canon t5 was yeah. like your very first my camera. very first like uh, actual camera. do you still have it i do actually Ooh, it's collecting dust right now oh. <laughs> it's just sitting where is it sitting in an attic somewhere <laughs> yeah it's like come on bro <laughs> use me it says remember the times we had <laughs> But yeah, it's just clicking this, um, cause like, it, even though I love the camera, cause it was my first camera, yeah. I outgrew it. Uh, um, it's still a nice camera, like, like I would say, like outgrowing cameras because like there's newer models. Like, is that? Yeah, either like new models or just kind of the style I'm going for. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Say like, the iPhone three, right? Yeah. And then the iPhone twelve. You're obviously gonna go for like the the more newer yeah, thing with like the cameras hanging out the side down <laughs> and i guess the cameras that extend out you got fucking 24 cameras in the <laughs> back <laughs> 25 cameras in the front <laughs> for real it'd be like that but um so i just kind of outgrew that camera um and like i said it's still a really good camera like it's of a course. beginner camera yeah um but now i'm shooting with uh sony so from that I went to Sony A6000 mm -hmm. and then from that I upgraded one more uh version which is the Sony A6 um 100 or 6100 is yeah, it? Yeah, 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 my bad, my bad. No, um, yeah, of course. So that's what I'm shooting with right now. It's really nice 4K quality. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's what I've been shooting with everything all my like music videos, photo shoots, all that really nice camera. Of course. Love it, love it. Now, I know that you're talking about all these cameras, right? Um, you know, you talked about your Canon. Yep. You talked about your two mm -hmm. Sonys, different models of it. Um, what would you say your most ideal, like, perfect first starter camera for someone that may be beginning mm -hmm. to do it would be? I would say the route I took, really, like, um, the Canon T5 <clears throat> is really, like, excuse me, really, like, the main, like, 
started camp. It was like, is that for like people trying to get their feet wet? Like yeah. maybe going like, maybe I could do this. Maybe I'm just fucking around. Exactly. Around. exactly. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, but I can't say that with uh, different brands of cameras because I never really like, like I never touched space with like Nikon cameras. I never touched okay. one. Um, Sony don't really know. I've only like know their newer stuff. But Canish is what I started with, yeah. and Canon T5 is really good starter, good price range. Then got mine for about like three hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it takes phenomenal pictures. Like, you know, I, it makes me want to kind of like reshoot with that camera again, just to see. Kind of yeah. to have that like um what what is it like uh when you just flash back to uh, uh, to the old days. I, know you know what I'm I just don't know what the word is. Um No, but like we I'm sure everyone yeah, knows yeah, exactly yeah. what we're talking about. <laughs> Everybody knows what we're talking about. <laughs> but just with my knowledge now, I feel like I could take that camera to like a whole nother level that I didn't was capable before. So like unlocking like the full potential of it. Exactly, okay, exactly. Okay. Because I was looking back um at my previous works with that camera i was like i could have done better because i now i know what to do of course you the know experience, of, yeah. exactly the experience so yeah definitely can t5 is definitely a good starter camera for people that just want to get their feet wet and that camera took me a lot of places exactly a lot of places let's talk about lenses that that's something that's a little you know, weird for me. I've never experienced like that kind of um, <laughs> right, right, right. aspect. I mean, I just whip out my phone, take a picture, but um, <laughs> lenses that might be a little confusing for individuals that may be trying to start out. What, exactly. what lenses do you recommend? What, what are lenses? And <laughs> so lenses are just an extended body of the camera. So and I don't know like all the lenses. Right. I just know what I use. Yeah. Um, so I think with, so every camera comes with a kit, a kit lens. Yeah. That's just like the default Just the lens, basic standard. The basic okay, okay, one, okay. right? And usually it's 60 millimeter to like 50 something millimeter. Okay. Uh, I could be wrong, but that's like the basic, most basic um, yeah. lens. And then you can move um, more up. So I think right after that, I want to say it's a 35, no, 30, 35 millimeter, which I should use. Um, that one is like a set position, so you can't move it. You have yeah, to move yeah. yourself. Oh, okay, okay. But um, there's different companies with these lenses, but you also use it with other companies. So the 30 millimeter I have right now for the Sony is a Sigma um, lens. Okay. And I, I believe Sigma is just like gears for cameras, not necessarily like a camera company. Gotcha. Like, you know, okay, okay. Body thing. Um, but they were nominated for the most like sharp. A lens for Sony, and I've noticed that it's like my favorite lens now, like thir- thirty. So now million. you just can't switch out of that. Right? <laughs> like nothing feels the same. Like I can't go back to like the kit lens. I hate it. <laughs> Said no, not an endorsement on that. <laughs> but I, I still use it from here and there. But like thirty millimeters, my go-to is similar to the fifty millimeter, which is also like a set position. Yeah. Um, I use that quite a bit even on my canon when i first started yeah that's like my second lens i was using of course fell in with it um so those two are like neck to neck of how they shoot their um their view you know so and then there's like even more higher like zoomed in i believe it's like 75 to like 200 and then there's like 80 to 300 millimeter gotcha and then i'm pretty sure there's more higher up to, to that point like these lenses are huge i see <laughs> huge. i see i can only imagine just how much weight and how much i, I don't understand like they have to have a whole nother stand just for the lens <laughs> it's crazy I'm looking like a sniper down there <laughs> for, for real. but, but I, I was like... gonna ask like i mean if i may um yeah. what is the most fun picture you've taken just most fun picture yeah mm. damn that's a tough one because I, I really love like like every photo shoot i've like done um probably the funnest would just be with um, my really great friend jenna which you can follow her at jenna uh, underscore cantrell yeah it was a g i mean j e n n a underscore c a n t r e l l really good um model 
Uh, she's phenomenal to work with and fun to work with. But uh, we shine like a lot. She's probably the most, um, like the person I shoot the most with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you and you love that as a photographer, right? Yeah. You want um, individuals that are easy to work with that make everything just fun. Hundred percent. So that 100%. way, when you're doing work, it doesn't seem. It like doesn't work. seem like yeah. work exactly. Yeah, yeah. Cause, like there's different. There's definitely like people like that, and there's people like. <sighs> And like, I don't want to work with you no more. <laughs> so that's not a non-endorsement for anyone. That, but um, I would I would say there's a difference, right, between shooting still objects versus real-life humans, right? Yeah, yeah. What would you say uh, is a harder... Um, what would you say is it's a harder position to have a human in while you're trying to take sh- uh, photo shoots? What are some hard positions? Um, really, any with, like, movement... Um, I feel like that would be the hardest because you got to do a little bit more extra work. You got to change your settings. Yeah. Stuff like that. Um, I, I never, I feel, I feel like I never really had like a hard time with a photo shoot, like with a position, really. Yeah, yeah. It's just always been easy. And most of the people I work with, especially Jenna, um, she's just a natural, like, like model like there's like no bad like photogenic pictures and, yeah phonogenic yeah, she's yeah. there's just no bad pictures like yeah. i try to get off guard all the time <laughs> and it just still comes out <laughs> exactly bro so she's probably like the easiest and fun to work with and we recently started doing like um more creative type of shoots um which is something i always wanted to do try to like um tap into the creative side of photography and so this one photo shoot was uh, with lights because mm. I just uh, I got all these lights that I never use of course um, so it was in my living room and we turned off all the lights and then I had this red um, light and it's like a string like LED so we wrapped around her and um, we were taking pictures and I'm telling you bro <laughs> these pictures are fire now these pictures that are fire that you mentioned where can people find it they can find it at my instagram at nelly underscore shoots that's where you can find all my work on there but so. let's talk about that work right you know you're you're a photographer you yes. obviously get paid for this um what are some price points that you're running is there any sales that you're doing for individuals interested so i'm currently doing excuse me a 20 dollar no, not twenty. Oh, my bad. Twenty <laughs> percent <laughs> off okay. all new clients. Yes. Okay. So that goes with photo shoots, music videos, uh, events, just really any type of photo or yeah. video work. Um, and that's been doing pretty well. I've had a lot of work come my way because of that like it surprises them like oh this is a deal going on. Yeah. People love deals. No, you know? dude. Of course, like they, you always <laughs> want what what the cheapest. Not just the cheapest, because uh, your work is not cheap. Your work is really good. I would say like the least, the most cost effective work. Mm-hmm. You know, that's what people are going for, and obviously you provide that service for them. So twenty exactly. percent off is really, really good. <laughs> but yeah, um, I, that's probably the only like sell I'm doing right now at the moment. Uh, maybe in future I'll do more like giveaways because I've done giveaways before. Um, with like a free photo shoot, like twenty yeah. edited pictures, yeah. which was actually I I brought them here to my home studio and we we did that real quick. Um, really good pictures, like I I, I love them. I you can also find them <laughs> on my on Instagram, Instagram yeah. Nelly underscore shoots. Yeah. <laughs> um. So I'll, I'll do giveaways, deals here and there. Uh. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Um. Is there anything that, like, okay, let me throw this curveball at you, right? <laughs> What would be your most ideal photo shoot scenario ever? Like you can think of a place, like a country, anywhere in the world that you would just be like, "That's the that's the one." Wait, does it have to be like with the person, or just I the could location? Be with, without, okay, and whatever. Ooh, that's tough. Because like I, I really want to travel the world and just take pictures of everything. Of course, but... I wouldn't imagine <laughs> that you would just like to stay in this city. Of course. Um, that's really tough because, like, definitely, for sure. I mean, because I've been to Colorado, but I really want to go back. Yeah. <laughs> That's just, like, um, a really good place just to take pictures. Like, the vibes are good, and you, you're just happy all the time over there. But I do want to go to, like, 
like Canada, Spain, you know, like different foreign countries. Let me, yeah, let, me, let me take some pictures of those through my lens, you know. Because I always see it through other people's lenses. But, like, I want to see how I could, like, view it. Does that make sense? Yeah, and you can you know? see it through the lens of your eyes, too. Now exactly. we're going to get really deep up in here. You know? <laughs> I could experience it through myself, not even yeah. just, like, social media shit. Yeah, or, of course, you know. yeah. And then that's is really why I want to travel is because, like, I want to experience it. Like, I'm tired of seeing it on my phone, you know. Of course. Like, I, backtracking. So I went to Colorado, right? Of course. We went to the... I don't think it was the highest mountain, but we went on top of the mountain. <laughs> yeah, you were up. Like, I mean, I, I can just only assume the Rocky Mountains up there. This was crazy high to the point where, like, um, you couldn't really breathe because the oxygen level was, like, super low. Yeah. Um, but that was always my dream, to be on top of a fucking mountain, <laughs> you know? Damn, yeah. And I, I just took it in. I was like, damn, I'm really here right now. Um and it was just a crazy experience, and I want to continue having those crazy experiences. Oh, of course. You know, and not necessarily in America, because, like, I mean, there, there's beautiful places in no, America, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. But, like, I want to go, like, deeper, you yeah. know, no, like and foreign you'll, countries. You'll and get there, bro. You'll, you'll get there, of <laughs> course. You, like, some good, some good places, you know. There's 100%, beautiful 100%. things everywhere. Um, let's shift it on over to videography because okay. that's something that some individuals might be interested as well, along with your amazing photos that you also you, take as you. well. Appreciate that. Videography, right? A whole different ball game. What is some key differences between videography and just taking photography? Um, I would say it's a little bit more hard work. I feel like because like. So like photography, you're you're pressing a button, right? And then you you edit it for like depending on your editing style. For me personally it'll take like five to ten minutes to edit like one one photo, right? Yeah. But then there's the like video side of things, um, especially with like music videos. Um so I'm gonna, I'm gonna run down like how, you know, I do it. Like we Depending, we meet either meet up in person or through text, and I'll find out like what they want, um, the song, so I could like come up with ideas, locations, stuff like that. So you provide the service of also you said the ideas of the music video. Are you providing that service? With yeah, it really with it? depends. Sometimes they already come up with the ideas. Okay. Um, or stuff like that, but usually I'll come up with location wise. Yeah. So we we find all that details right, then it comes to shooting day. So you you get there, you set up, you get the camera ready, gimbals, whatever they of wanted, course, yeah. right? Um, and then you start shooting. So typically for me, a shooting session with a musical will last between an hour to two hours, sometimes more, depending on <laughs> like what they want or how like. T- how difficult things were like if something popped up and we had to deal with it yeah, type of thing yeah, yeah. it really all depends on the situation of course um so that I, would take another like would would there be like a like a difference between a three minute song and then a five minute song like time big, wise big difference big difference <laughs> <laughs> because like three minutes song is already it may not seem like long as it's three minutes yeah. but once you pop that shit like in the editing software and you go at it that three minutes <laughs> is a long time for now you. price wise right yes. you know we i mentioned three minutes five minutes is it flat fee is, is it more for like longer songs? uh so i said we do flat free flat, flat fee free, okay. my bad. <laughs> so i can so i can bust out like a metallica like eight minute <laughs> song and it'll be a flat fee for me Okay, new rules. <laughs> so, <laughs> new so, rules. <laughs> Wait a minute. I guess it really depends um what exactly you want. So like like you just said, like you say someone wants to come at me like I need a ten minute video. So I have a I have a five minute intro guitar solo, I have a ten minute breakdown, For and real. I have like three minutes spoken words of how it affects Exactly, bro. And then last thirty seconds where I actually sing. <laughs> you said it's my it's my course. It's my course. But but yeah, it really depends. Like, if you come to me and you want an eight minute video, I have to obviously charge more yeah. because you don't understand. Like, from like an editor, and I feel like other editors would 
understand like that's a big difference between like a regular three minute yeah of course music video to like almost 10 yeah that's no. a lot of work no dude yes and I i'm surprised with people like that make movies <sighs> that's years <laughs> years of editing but that's also a team too i'm that, that, sure of yeah it, right? a team yeah. and um i'm sometimes i'm alone but sometimes i'm not i bring my my brother Luis, which you can find him at uh sobro underscore louis um He's been a really big help. I've been trying to um, bring him into this business. Yeah, of course. Teach them in in and outs. Y'all are just a multi talented. <laughs> yeah, bro. Individuals out here. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So I uh, I brought him in. I think for the past like maybe ten. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Like ten shoots, and that's like photo shoots slash music videos. And he'll either get like behind the scenes or like different angles that I could have gotten with with just one yeah or and you know it's cutting the time down because like say i wanted that angle but i'm alone so i have to shoot this angle then i have to and go over here and shoot that it now, cuts time exactly we're doing it at the same time type of thing and he's been really good helping and even like his personal like photos that he takes with the camera phenomenal <laughs> so, so is that an endorsement to, to go to <laughs> louise instead of nelson i'm just kidding <laughs> But like I said, you find them at Sobro underscore Louis. Of Great course. pictures on there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just been doing a lot of stuff with him recently. To, like I said, get him into the business. So let's talk prices. I know I kind of dabbled that, oh, but yeah, then yeah, I yeah. forgot to bring it up. So that's my fault. But <laughs> um, for photography, right? What What are the prices running? I know the twenty percent off, which is a good deal. Yeah. So what I'm currently doing at the moment is. 150 yes for 50 edited pictures of okay. course um prices may go up after this video <laughs> just letting so, the, everybody know <laughs> but like this is um this is more of like a supply and demand kind of thing too yeah I'm sure yeah I'm sure. so i've been getting a lot of work which is why i'm planning on raising prices um but also the camera upgrades also in have, the com camera upgrades, i mean because yeah. yeah you were shooting with the 6000 now we have the 61000 exactly. so it adds that I mean, people don't know, but that adds that dimension. Exactly, exactly. It's like, like I said, the Canon yeah. C5 I started off yeah, with. To like, now, yeah. You know, it's a big difference. And so since we're talking about pricing, let's kind of step back to like when I had the Canon T5 and my pricing then and then it's like now. Yeah. So before I was charging, <laughs> I was charging like twenty five dollars for a photo shoot. But like, I mean, you're you laughing at it now, but I mean, like that helped you where you're exactly, at now. Exactly, so. bro. You, you had to start somewhere. Yes. And you know, really before that it was just all free. And of course, you have to do it free at the beginning because like you can't just pick up a camera and go like, all right, I'm gonna charge you a hundred dollars. I don't know how to use this thing. Yeah, let's, let's just go for it. <laughs> I'm gonna charge you a hundred dollars. He said, I'm learning just like you. <laughs> Stuff like that. So you, you have to do it first, like free, and then learn the oh. in and out experiences. And then you get into, you know, payments. And really just, just charge what you you feel like you're worth, right? Of course, Don't yeah. downgrade yourself. No. I've had to learn that the hard way. Um, and if they can't pay, that's not your customer. Like, th that's not the people for you. So many times, like, I'm sure that this has happened to you. I'm sure that this has probably happened to <laughs> your, your, my cousin, your brother. Yeah. Yep. Um, people are going to want discounts. People are going to want to be like, you're my homie from like seven days ago or whatever, you know, <laughs> where's that homie price? Exactly. Um, there's definitely people like that, but there's also people that I do give that homie discount because I've known them for like seven plus years, oh, okay. you know. And so this particular person is a really good friend from from high school, and he he used to always like freestyle in in, yeah. in class and stuff. Yeah. He was so good, but like people were like, "Take it serious, bro. <laughs> we need to get you in the studio." Yeah. And then he's like, "Nah, <laughs> I ain't doing that." But then after high school, I guess he started taking it serious. And then we met back up, like, oh shit, you like you're starting to take this serious. So am I. Let's work together. Of course. And ever since that, like, I would do his music videos, photo shoots, to to the point where like, all right, I know you're a reoccurring customer client. I'm gonna give you deals, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna play you. Um, 
not not all the time, but like majority of the time. Like, I would say it's like a loyalty, a lo- I, yeah. like a loyalty thing. So I mean, could customers eventually get to that loyalty? Yeah, okay. th- most definitely. Like, okay. um, if they keep coming back to me, of course. You know, it's kind of like say you shop on Amazon for like a month you yeah. keep coming back and it's like it's i'm gonna give you this that keeps on giving of course <laughs> i'm gonna give you this five dollar discount yeah <laughs> the okay. type, type of yeah, thing you know yeah. yeah i'm just trying to give it back because they always they're helping me out they're of supporting course. you know my business and i appreciate them for that it was one 150 for 25 or uh, don't call me 50 for 50 yeah. oh even better right <laughs> Shit. Yeah, the funny so part is for, yeah uh, the yeah. funny part is today i was at a my old high school's uh, parade. Mm-hmm. Um, I told a girl my my price range. Right? She was like, "What the? Fuck? <laughs> it's like the same reaction yeah, you just yeah. had." It was just funny because like it's a good deal. And no, it really it, is. it really is, and yeah, it's a little extra work on me. But but I kind of like you know having that extra that like, challenging you know yeah what I'm challenging you feel me and then videos right so you know you mentioned that you can do music videos you mentioned you can do you know weddings birthdays uh quinceaneras i'm sure that there's more yeah. events out there that you could uh, potentially do those are just off the top of my head um what are the prices around those kind of things like mm-hmm. events and music okay. videos so let's start off with like music videos of course um I'm charging three hundred right now. Of course, for a music video, four K quality, two angles, four K, yeah, four K, you know, all yeah. that good stuff. Um, and that comes with like effects, cause like I feel like artists is now, uh, especially like rap and the yeah. rap, you know, uh, they love more effects rather than like an acoustic player. They they just want no, no effects. Just straight just up straight. storytelling. Exactly. Kind of, yeah, okay. But so. And then that's where like the price is the price because it has to like learn all these edits and learn how to you know put them in the video. Yeah. And <clears throat> so like a music video usually like takes me like about a week depending on how heavily edited they want it. <clears throat> of course. Um. And then it's so, like instant editors and then like just really like small events. I'll probably charge like. Um, depending on what they want, because some people want video as well as photos. Yeah. So yeah. between like one fifty to two hundred for those, and then for weddings, and, and this is a big thing. Yeah, because um, weddings, wedding prices can go up. I, yeah. Up. Yeah, and yeah. I, I've realized that because I've only done two weddings, and you know I'm still learning price ranges, but I've learned like there's this photographers getting paid like ten to fifteen, probably even higher thousand dollars mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm, I'm definitely not up to that point but i'm like i said i'm learning um as i go every every shoot i'm learning you know yeah. um so before i was charged like it went 100 to 500 and now i'm gonna charge a thousand okay yeah but i have to bring more value and that, that's what i've learned like bringing more value because you're you're upping your price you can't up your price and stay the same but here's the thing like okay you're going to be charging a thousand for weddings yes but the thing is like these are quality pictures mm-hmm. these are these are things that is going to be for the whole event not necessarily for like 30 minutes right because like, exactly exactly yeah so it's it's, it's a, a it's bargain a, it's yeah. a bargain deal to be honest with you <laughs> like it may sound crazy it may be like a thousand but there's people getting paid ten thousand out steal. here there are people just probably just shooting walking down the aisle so exactly and it's just crazy to me like how much money is in this business that i haven't touched it <laughs> of course it's crazy. there's the potential the, the potential bro so it's crazy real quick um you know we mentioned 150 per 50 um edits yeah. you mentioned the prices for your um music videos for certain events and ov- obviously all of these are up to discussion as well if they hit you up on right, right. your social medias of course um let's take the minute to just do a couple of fun little questions before we wrap <laughs> this up right okay so um let's see um what do you do in your free time who what do i um go to the gym I, I really try to like get back into it um because i was re- recently stopped vaping which is big for me like it's going on for like two weeks now good it energizes i have so much energy now and that's why i'm going to the gym more i just got um 
uh, membership at uh, LA Fitness. <laughs> it's it's pricey, but it's worth it. But it'll but keep you in line, right? Exactly. So that's what I do. I try to do in my free time. If I'm not doing that, I'll just like either like shoot for fun, edit for fun, um, or go hang out with friends, stuff like that. Of course. Um, okay, so next question, right? What yeah. is your favorite workout? My f- favorite workout. I feel like I want to say chest or like biceps. No, uh, not leg days. <laughs> <laughs> I got chicken legs, bro. Get you new legs. <laughs> I got little legs, bro. Uh, what's your favorite snack? My favorite snack. That's tough because. I've been munching on everything. <laughs> this is literally everything. I've seen this dude down a whole like bowl of chicken teriyaki <laughs> shenanigans, and it's just been crazy. So actually, it's not necessarily a snack. That's like a fucking. That's a course, bro. Like a full said, course, course meal. meal. <laughs> <laughs> but like teriyaki, ter- oh, I can't speak. Teriyaki is probably like my favorite type of food. Like delicious. Japanese, mm. I love it. But like for snack wise, I feel like. Like some sweet like candy, either that like some like uh, what's that what's it called sun sun chips the cheddar ones, mm-hmm. those are so fire. good. <laughs> fire. What's the most awkward position that you've had to be in with a camera? Hmm. Like physically? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. You're you're trying to get the perfect shoot. Uh, <laughs> you're in an awkward position. Damn, that's tough. Um. I guess just being on the floor. I never really like position myself in a <laughs> really like awkward yeah. way. I, I guess it would be like just like outside in public, <laughs> we just on the floor. Just, just on the floor. Just 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 don't take, mind me. Just taking <laughs> a, an take angle. Pictures, people walking over me and shit. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. What is one thing that you feel like people don't know about you? Hmm. That's tough. We <laughs> ask tough questions out here in these streets. <laughs> something that i feel like people don't know about me yeah yeah, yeah. um I, I guess one thing is like like just how like caring and nice i am because i ain't gonna lie i have a resting dick face <laughs> hey, bro, I so mean, it's, look- it's weird from rbf <laughs> to rdf this is the male version <laughs> but like I know, like, I look mean as fuck. Like, I'm ready to fucking fight. <laughs> like, <laughs> but, like, I'm the nicest person like, you, you'll ever meet. And, like, I, I wish people would know that about me. Cause, like, I even have, like, people at work who are like, damn, bro, you, you mad, bro? <laughs> what happened, bro? It's like, who we beating up today? <laughs> I'm like, nah, bro, I'm chilling. Like, I'm happy inside. <laughs> well, that, that's one thing. <laughs> he said, hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can do this right. I'm happy, bro. <laughs> and yeah, that was, that was perfect. <laughs> that was perfect. Perfect pitch. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's one thing I wish people would know about me that I'm not always angry. <laughs> so that's good to know. Good to know. Um, and then my final question of course, you've been a, a, a great, great guest in this show Thank right you, here. You've been a great interviewer. The I'm best trying, one out. I'm trying. Like you, I am learning. Like you, I am <laughs> exactly, trying my bro. best. This is a learning experience right now. Let's see. Are you a coffee drinker? I am. What's your favorite coffee? Ice caramel macchiato. Okay. That's the endorsement. <laughs> Ice caramel macchiato. I'm too addicted, bro. <laughs> me too. I cannot not I just have coffee. It. It, it's my parents that did this to me. They just said, at the age of three, here you go. Have some coffee. <laughs> and ever since then. Oh my God. That's funny. Well, of course. You've been a great pleasure. Thank you. Of thank course, you. this is Nelson Martinez. Where can we find you? You can find me at Nelly underscore shoots. Also, I have a clothing brand named Meraki, where you can find that on Instagram at Meraki Fit underscore LSE. And then the website is Meraki Fit dot shop. Dot shop. So course. like a gym wear. So make sure to go check that out and support my brand and we end up with meraki i'm sorry we didn't talk about it on this episode of course but what are some of the deals that we have for you on that deals uh i'm pretty sure we have a 10 percent discount okay um capital letters m r k i 10 10 anything in the store you could uh you could get it with that code awesome. I, I run that business with my my brother of course you can find him at sobro underscore louis of course he also runs that with me great help yeah and is that all the places that we can find you at? Uh, at the moment, yes. Of course. Uh, pretty soon I'm gonna start up like a website. Um, yeah. Get back on YouTube, stuff like that. But of course. the main 
um, place you can find me at is at Instagram at Nelly, Nelly underscore shoots. Well, of course, <laughs> glad to have you on here. This has been Leo Submarine, a deep dive into the human experience. Catch you on the next episode. Peace.